Well, welcome, welcome to <laughs> Culture, Culture Shock. Shock. So this is our look at Japanese culture, and today we're looking at shopping arcades. Shopping arcades. Yes. Where I can play Space Invaders and Asteroids? No. No. <laughs> Different arcade. <laughs> Different kind of arcade. So a shopping arcade is a, essentially a street lined with shops in Japan um, that have evolved in this very specific way. Um, as a very specific sort of kind of street line with shops. Mm. So you think of it kind of, like, kind of like a high street in Europe, where it's uh, one street that has you know, the tobacconist and the grocer and all those sort of things in, on, uh, in a line, and a shopping arcade in Japan is a street with grocers, fresh fruit stands, clothing um, um, shops, all these sorts of things, all grouped in one spot. So you can go just down you know, a couple of blocks worth of, of space and have all of the, the shops that you need for all of your regular uh, shopping. Now, is that like a strip mall where it's all in one big area? Or Not is... quite. No. Um, uh, th these are more traditional shops in the sense that um, you know, you're supposed to go there and walk around it. Oh, so walking it, area. It, it's very much a, a walking area. So all the shops are right up um, there on, on the street. The street is usually closed off to vehicular traffic, um, or at least vehicular traffic is... You have to jump around uh, uh, between, um, but but yeah, the, you know, the idea is normally it's, it's a walking spot, and so you can you can you can go there and just spend twenty minutes and get all your your fruit, your vegetables, your meat, your fish, oh. all those things, all of these stalls, get a hat, get shoes, whatever you need oh, to. Oh wow, like an open air market, just exactly, yeah. Hmm. Uh, now a lot of uh, shopping arcades, as we're seeing in our images here, are um, are enclosed uh, or enclosed in the sense that they'll have a, a roof over them. So especially in Tokyo, um, it, you know, if it's raining, you don't really want to walk. Oh, <laughs> get rained on. Uh, exactly. Have, to have an umbrella. If everybody had an umbrella, <laughs> it'd be tricky to exactly <laughs> um, groceries and the umbrella. And <laughs> so, um, so a lot of these will, will have a roof over them over the, over the street, um, so you can be in comfort there. And those are usually paid for by the um, shopping arcades. Um, uh, I forget the term for base, but basically there is a um, an association. For all those shops, collectively and they, all, they get together. Yeah, and they all get together, and um, they put a little money together for things like roofs, repaving, things along those lines. Anything the whole group needs. Uh, keep the customers on the trail. <laughs> exactly, and to, and to that point, they'll do things like um, there's a big thing a, a while back uh, where a shopping arcade created um, a set of coupons. Um, that were good only in the shopping arcade. So, they've, oh, so the shopping wow. arcade bucks. Brilliant. So if you got a haircut there or whatever, they give you one of these things. And you can use it anywhere in the shopping arcade, at that place or any, anywhere else. Um, but it's only good within that, that spot. Convenient. Keeps you uh, get all your services done at the same time. Exactly. And then the neat thing is the community started getting involved. So you could trade those in for things like uh, a discount at a nearby park. Um, and, uh, and other things good for families and, and stuff to keep folks you know, spending money within the community. So it, it's a really neat thing. Uh, you know, you'll have candy shops there, you know, any, anything you need for, for your, your regular life. I know, isn't it, isn't it neat? Yeah. Um, <laughs> there's all sorts of stuff there. Um, now, unfortunately, um, they're getting less and less popular as time goes on. Why? Shopping malls, strip malls, um, uh, sh uh, Department stores, all but those sorts of things. There, there's an al fresco feel to there it. There is. It, it's really lovely. And um, I've, having been to Japan, it's, it's lovely walking down a uh, shopping arcade. Uh, you do really feel that communal spirit. But it's more convenient to go to a department store, unfortunately, oh, or a shopping it, mall. It certainly lacks, lacks the, uh, the feel that an open arcade has. It does. You can just sort of stroll along and have the freedom. Yeah. So, um, uh, yeah, so d depending on where you are in Japan, so, um, I believe in Tokyo they're down like 30% uh, in terms of uh, you know, open uh, stores uh, than they're used to. So they're trying to find uh, ways of counteracting that, like these sort of uh, coupons. Um, uh, they're trying things like um, um, uh, decorating similarly all down the shopping arcade, um, trying to offer discounts in each other's stores. If you go here, you get a discount on this other store. Um, there's, there's various stuff to try to, to, to get people back in, uh, and also just generally letting people know, hey, these are your local neighborhood. Support your local business. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. You know, help people out. Yeah. Um, so hopefully that will sort of come back. But there, there, it's in. I don't don't want to say quite dark days right now, but it's definitely on a, in a lull. Sort of a changing landscape of uh, consumer behavior. Exactly. 
Yeah. And I suppose online purchases uh, That's, that probably can help. change the d demographics and uh, frequency that people actually go out to a, a brick and mortar store and exactly. purchase. And, and you have all the classic problems that one little shop can't sell every possible pair of shoes. Um, so you have that all of the, those issues, but hopefully folks can kind of figure that out. Yeah, but there's there's something that's to be said for being able to actually put your hands on something and see it and say, oh yeah, uh, this one has the triple seams. I couldn't <laughs> tell from the, or the 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 quality manufacturing that I was looking for mm -hmm. uh, over this other one and do an actual in hand comparison. Exactly, and especially with folks like tailors, things like that, you can actually get to know them, they can know what your clothes are, how you fit is. Uh, <laughs> exactly, yeah, and it, you, know, you, you get that one-on-one -on -one connection to, to those folks, you're not necessarily going to get a department store. Um, so that's you know, one of those things where hopefully they'll, they'll figure it out, but it's a, it's, it's a very traditional Japanese thing, there have been these going back for hundreds of years, and so hopefully they'll, they'll continue. Uh, now, if you want to see this in anime, the classic example would be an anime series called Magical Shopping Arcade Abunobashi. Ooh. It's an anime series uh, by Studio Gainax, who made Evangelion and many other interesting things. And it's this goofy comedy series about a couple of kids at a shopping arcade that's going out of business. They don't want it to go out of business. And they sort of fall into a sort of a wormhole and go into various, um, uh, various different worlds uh, in which various versions of... Uh, uh, various people they've met um, show up in, in these sort of different dimensions and different aspects of, of, of themselves. Very funny, very weird series. There's some odd fan service in this series you should be aware of that happens early on. Um, but once you get past that, it's, it's a really fun show. A uh, good example in manga is uh, The Stellar Six of Gingacho, which is this uh, fun little manga series. Um, you probably call it shoujo, possibly shonen. Um, but it's about a group of six kids who all grew up, who were all born within one year in a shopping arcade to various people, various you know, families living there. Um, so uh, one of them is the fishmonger's kid, one of them is you know, the meat market's kid, uh, and they've all grown up together and they're all um, just entering junior high, and so they've all known each other and they all end up in different schools. Ah! And all end up in different classes in different schools. Whoa! So for the first time in their lives, they're not they're spending separated. all their time together. Huh. Um, and so this is the first, um, so this, this, this starts in that, that first year when they're suddenly, and of course they're all getting at 12, 13 years old, so they're starting to, you know, split out male and female, you know, and boys and girls stuff and all that kind of stuff. So it's a very interesting kind of uh, uh, a thing, and that's a good example of, uh, of shopping arcades. Excellent. Yeah. So th that's it, and if you're looking for that, uh, check, those, check those out. Thank you. Thank you.
Hello. Hi. <laughs> How you doing? Good, thank you. Good. Cool. You got this. Ooh. Oh, wow. Cool. <laughs> thank you so much. You're welcome very much. Well, thank you. Oh, thank you. It's, it's not awesome. like a restaurant <laughs> oh, <laughs> quality. Great. But uh, wow. <laughs> at least. Thank great. you so much. Yes. <laughs> probably fills you up a little yeah, bit. Yeah, that's <laughs> awesome. Thank you. You're welcome. Would you like some water or anything? Actually, we just filled no, up, I think. We're good. Right here? Yeah. Okay. yeah thanks. Thank you. You're welcome. Mm. Mm. Maybe a fork? Uh, oh, you got a. Oh, wonderful. There we go. <laughs> Yeah, mm. fingers aren't so good with that. So. <laughs> mm. As we recorded the sound of much, much, much. <laughs> Should I hit stop on them? Yeah, we'll go. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> I'm Brent, and this is Evan. <laughs> <laughs> I'm John. <laughs> I'm Kathy. <laughs> Is it a fox? Is it a dog? Is it a frog? Mm. Is it a milk top pug? What is it? It is not a frog, Sam. I am. I do not like them in a fox. <laughs> I do not like them with cream cheese in lots. <laughs> <laughs> I do not like them here or there. I do not like them anywhere. I do not like green eggs and hams. I do not like them, Sam. I am. Here we go. <laughs> okay. Let's try to make them a little so welcome back to Culture Shock. Howdy! This is our Japanese culture series. Today we're talking about tanuki. 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 I don't know if you guys have heard that term, but if you recognize this animal here, it's an awfully cute one, isn't it? Yeah. Tanuki. Yeah. What, what is that, do you think? Is that a fox? No. Is it a dog? No. Is it a raccoon? No. It's a tanuki. It's a tanuki. <laughs> what is this creature, tanuki? So this is a Japanese animal. Uh, that is in a similar family as a raccoon or, or, or a, a you know, small animal along those lines. Um, but it, it is its own distinct species, and it is called a tanuki. Uh, often in uh, American translation, it will be called a raccoon dog. A raccoon dog? Yeah, um, but it's not a dog, it's not a raccoon, it's not a fox, it's a tanuki. A tanuki. And uh, you see them a lot in, in Japan. They fill a similar role as raccoons do sort of ecologically. Um, so small, they can kind of get into trash and in urban <laughs> places, that kind of thing. Um, but they have a long history in Japanese folklore. And so tanuki show up a lot as shape-changing animals. Mm. So they can appear to, to humans and they can uh, change their shape to uh, fool people or sometimes even help and protect people. Mm. Yeah. These tanuki are very mysterious creatures. They, they are. Um, can you guess how they transform? How do they transform? With their balls. With their... with their balls? Yeah, yeah. So, um, it, it is tradition ah. in, in ah. Japan, <laughs> just putting it out there, so to speak, um, <laughs> that, uh, uh, yeah, I know, um, that, that Tanuki um, use these as their uh, transformational power, that's where their transformational power come from. Indeed, if you look at things, and don't worry, this is safe for work, um, <laughs> but if you look at uh, images of Tanuki, you'll notice that um, th there's a lot between their knees. Um, and uh, yeah. yeah, and that, that is what that is, is meant to sort of symbolize, is the fact that they have these, um, th this transformational power uh, they, coming out of there. They've got balls. They, they sure do. <laughs> they've, got, they've got big balls. Um, <laughs> Uh, and I mean, this does get into the fact that you know a lot of uh, traditional folklore has the idea that your power um, uh, resides in your belly and in the center of your being. So that would be in this bright general area, so to speak. Um, so you see a lot of stories about um, tanuki transforming one way or the other uh, as tricksters, but often um, also as helpers of humans. Tricksters and helpers of humans. Well, that's the thing. Is We're, that uh, uh, getting a little too close for comfort. Tsune, <laughs> um, and you will see them transform um, in that film. Um, Disney translated. The, they, they translate through their pouch. Uh, the so that's one way of translating. That makes it a little bit more uh, um, so exactly. Tanuki are kid acceptable. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. And to be fair, like they, they went like back, back to Studio Ghibli and asked them about it. And Ghibli said, Western "That's fine." They can be tricked, it's a pouch. It is technically. Um, <laughs> uh, so Jimmy was fine with it. Yeah, that's cool. Is it 
Um, but yeah, it, um, that is very much a, um, a good example. Also, the anime series The Eccentric <laughs> Family, which came out, I believe, a year ago, is about a, a small family of Tanuki living in Kyoto, uh, modern day Kyoto. It's a very interesting series. Um, you see a, a number of other um, traditional Japanese um, transforming animal characters. Um, uh, a lot of that kind of folklore is um, used in the eccentric family and they kind of crop up and you get some of those characters in there. Um, uh, so yeah, those are some good examples and, um, of Tanuki and anime manga. Like I said, they, they um, crops up a lot. It's kind of like, you know, powers. dogs and He's cats and that kind of stuff. It, it is an animal that, that exists and crops up. Him. Well, now I'm going to look at anime in a very different light. I'm going to see these creatures and say, wait, that might be something. That might be a Tanuki. Exactly, yeah. Keep an eye out. Yeah. It has that Tanuki suit. Yay! There's my Tanuki. He's got a big nut. See it right there. Yeah. Next time. Yeah, next time. The cat rabbit spaceship. Good old cabots. I love cabots. Cabots. I'm just cheap. You don't know. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And unfortunately, of course, humans have been encroaching yeah. on the habitat. <laughs> uh, less and less far. Cabot. Uh, oh, here's, here's, here's one we could do. Those red things, those red sphere yeah, shaped guys yeah. where you paint in one eye when you make a wish um, and, and the other eye when the wish comes true. Uh, yeah. Because they have all these weird charms that uh, I think uh, uh, that uh, are fun to look at. Oh, oh, those paper twisty uh, things. And it's being um, redeveloped this, um, into a neighborhood. Piece of paper with words and, on it. And uh, so they got to decide what they're going to do. Magic yeah. Yeah. Uh, 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 why is this uh, guy got uh, the, the cat with one paw <laughs> raised? Yeah. Yeah. And, and you will see the them transform in that film. Disney translated it. They translate it to their pouch. So that's one way of transforming. That makes it a little bit more exactly. GPX has, has uh, that that's ship fine. that's trying to be the luckiest ship, and they've got all those different, like every possible talisman that they can. Um, that but yeah, ever um, seen that is very <laughs> much a um, trying to be the luckiest. Uh, also, the anime series The Eccentric Family, was, which came out, I, I believe, a year GPX. ago, maybe it was uh, about a, a small family Tyler, 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 I'm not sure. Maybe very interesting. Yeah, um, you see a number of somebody to counter the traditional Japanese transforming animal characters. Yeah, a lot of that kind of folklore. Maybe it was I have to be family and to kind of crop up. I need to, and you get some of those characters in there. So many, so many series. So, so yeah, those are some good examples um, of the same anime manga. Like that, it crops up a lot. It's kind of like I will eat a spoonful of wasabi. It is an animal that exists oh. and it crops up. Wow, <laughs> my brain is on fire! <laughs> <laughs> These creatures look the same. My brain that might is leaking out of my head. <laughs> that might be a tenuous. Um, exactly, yeah. The cat with the wood paw raised. I, I thought I had written that down. Yay! Yeah. There's, There's my Tanuki. Probably some of He's got a big nut. Yeah. yeah. Um, See him right there. Yeah. <laughs> 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 uh, uh, next time. I, uh, yeah, next time. The, the cat rabbit spaceship. Good <laughs> 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 old cabots. Cabots. Hachiko is not Not just cheese. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Luck thing or yeah. fortune. <laughs> Cabot. Cabot. Oh, here's here's one we could do. Those red things, those red sphere shaped guys oh, yeah. where you paint in one eye when you make a wish and the other eye when you wish comes true. Oh, through. yeah. Because they we have all these weird charms that point. I think yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's important topic. you can't uh, avoid it. I mean, yeah. it's, it's got to be in there. Well, and people just. Oh, m m m m m m that's it. Piece of paper with words on it. Yeah. Now all yeah. Um, yeah. Um, people I just. Neko wafers. They're made out of cat. Yeah. People just. Don't want to talk about it. Wind chart. Disturbing with us. The, um, the name of I think somebody needs to yeah. get out there and say, Lollicon! Um, lolly, 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 lolly! <laughs> uh, lolly uh, GPX has What is it? Uh, yeah. Uh, Who is it? It's trying to be the luckiest what ship, and they've got all really? of those different, <laughs> like, every Canada possible talisman <laughs> 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 that, that anybody's ever seen. <laughs> 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 
try to be the luckiest. And it is was it, it is illegal under the was, U.S. code to GPX. possess was, uh, even mm. illustrations. Tyler, even Tyler. illustrations. Even illustrations. I'm not sure. Oh, Maybe. Wow. Yeah. How, yeah. How, how does the U.S. Uh, somebody to counter the luck? Uh, <laughs> so again, uh, it's, it's yeah, yeah. Down. yeah. <laughs> I don't. I can't mm, define Tyler. pornography, Maybe but I can tell you what I think. Um, and to be fair, every time it's it's come so many so many series so many, so many fi- um, ah the people rain dolls that's wasabi. it. Now I will eat a spoonful of wasabi. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> my brain is on fire. <laughs> <laughs> my brain is leaking out of my head. Um, the cat with the one paw raised. Yeah, I'm. Really, I'm I, I thought I had written that down somewhere here as one of the things. Covered. There's probably some official name. Uh, for it. Yeah, um, so I was going to write. Um, oops. The cat with one raised paw. Throwing the coin in. I am uh, throwing the coin into the shrine money box. Money box. Um, Hachiko is not really a. Charm. New, well, Year's, New Year's uh, luck thing or yeah. fortune. Um. Origami. <laughs> we do need to cover the Lolicon at some point. Yeah. That is just an important topic. You, you can't avoid it. I mean, yeah. it's, it's got to be in there. Well, and people just. Oh, m- 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 Manika Neko. That's it. Beckoning cats. Um, unfortunately, Neko, Neko, Neko. people just um, Neko wafers. They're made out of cat. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, people just um, don't want to talk about lolicon, and they don't want to talk about how disturbing it is. And someone just needs to. You know, I think somebody there. needs to get out there and say lolicon, mm. lolly, 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 <laughs> lolicon. <laughs> What is it? Yeah. <laughs> Who is it? Ooh, what age is that really? <laughs> How bad is Canada about mm. interpreting un- interpretables? Mm-hmm. Uh, and it is it is illegal under the U.S. code to possess even illustrations. Even illustrations. Even illustrations. Oh of wow! Underage US, characters how, and how, how, how does the U.S. determine age on characters though? The judge. Right, yeah, we, so again, it, that it, it, it goes yeah, back to looking at it. I don't, I mm-hmm. can't define mm-hmm. pornography, but I can tell you when I see it. Yep, exactly. Um, and to be fair, every time it's it's come up, every time somebody sees it, it's like, yep, yep, that's, yep, that's, <laughs> a, that's a, <laughs> there's no that's question, <laughs> you know. <laughs> yeah, that, 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 whatever line there was, you crossed it. Um, <laughs> so yeah, oh, I should stop recording. Um, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um,